Natasha, Wendy M wants to know, why can't you admit when you make mistakes? Nobody's perfect. Watching myself back on the show, it made me realize how defensive I was. Daisy, the way she approached me first, it's kind of like intimidating to me. It's kind of like aggressive. So whatever she gives to me is like, I give back to her. And it's what, and I'm sorry, and Daisy and I spoke about that and we're in a better place. And I'm, I, I was wrong a lot of times. So I am sorry and apologize for the times that I was wrong. Very good. I love that. Good on you. Yeah. Vishnu M wants to know, Glenn, what was your reaction when you watched the show and saw all the ways Natasha dropped the ball and even lied to or misled guests? For example, telling Erica's charter they'd get five courses, then changing it to three. Telling Barry's charter he'd get in the cotton candy machine and then bailing on that request, serving scrambled eggs when a guest asked for over easy. Should you have stepped in sooner, Glenn? Uh, good question. Uh, again, I see that stuff after the fact, so it's kind of hard to step in. Uh, I think a couple of those are simple mistakes. Um, I love Natasha's food. I gained a lot of weight during the season. She's an amazing chef. But you know, we all make mistakes. I think she made some mistakes, and she, you know, she. I think she misinterpreted some some orders and stuff like that. But maybe a couple times. Yeah, I I don't know what happened with the three courses and the five courses. Uh, but maybe she made a judgment call and. You know, she's got her hand up, so let her answer. I did tell the guests they had five courses, but they started, these girls started drinking, like, a lot. So I was like, they're drunk. They are not going to have five courses. So that's when I switched it and said they're having three courses instead of five courses. But I was prepared when they came and come and tell me they're hungry. So it was like for me to slap on and say, okay, I'm giving you all an extra course. I really thought that they were drunk and they would not have a lot of food. You were punishing them for being drunk? No, you just never know. But the thing is, like, me, when I'm drunk, I don't eat a lot. Some people eat a lot. Some people don't. So that's why I was like, okay. They oh, my God. Really I, eat, I eat, like, two meals when I'm drunk. <laughs> Daisy, you blame the bad tip after Barry's charter on Natasha. Do you still stand by that statement today? You know what? I go back and forth. I kind of think it was a collective thing. I, you know, I do believe that we were all a team, and I think we all dropped the ball. But... Yeah, I was pissed off at Natasha's performance. Natasha, I'll what do you know. think? Maybe I am, maybe I'm not. It's not for me, I'm, I'm not blaming anybody. Um, it is what it is, and Barry was a difficult charter. So it more reflects on him and not us, I guess, because I think he knew that his, he and his family were difficult. Raise, your, raise difficult. your hand if you think Natasha was to blame for the tip on Barry's charter. <laughs> Daisy and Gary and Glenn is I'll raising say, a uh, finger. Not yes, not me. I'm raising a finger because there's not one person that brings a charter tip down. Okay, exactly. It's a what team I, effort. What and, I will and, say is it's well. a team effort all the way around. Team it's effort. It's not just Natasha. It's but not Daisy, just Gary. It's not just Zach. It's everybody. Daisy. It's not yes. Natasha's fault. We got to be. I think it was Natasha's fault, but I also actually really felt for Natasha as well at the same time. Thanks for watching. Watch more clips here and subscribe to our channel here. See ya.